Okay, in lesson eight, um, the unknown angle problems are going to expand to include angles and triangles. Knowing how to solve for unknown angles involving lines and angles at a point, um, angles involving transversals and angles and triangles, we're going to prepare you guys to solve unknown angles in a variety of diagrams. Okay? So first of all, find the measure of angle X in the figure to the right. Explain your calculations. Um, this would be your warm-up, so I'm going to push pause, and you guys need to try this one on your own. Okay, there you go. Um, I took the hint, and I drew an auxiliary line segment. All right, our discussion. Um, let's get down to it. So first of all, we need to know that the sum of three angle measures of any triangle is 180 degrees. Um, memorize it. We're going to need to know it. Also, the interior of a triangle. A point lies in the interior of a triangle if it lies in the interior of each of the angles of the triangle. Triangle, point on the interior. <laughs> um, in any triangle, the measure of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measure of the opposite interior angles. These are also sometimes also known as remote interior angles. I just drew an exterior angle. The measure of x equals a plus b. I should fill this word in, sorry. Um, remote So that has to do with that right there. Um, base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal in measure. Let's do that in blue. Isosceles triangle have two equal sides and two equal base angles because a triangle always sits on the base. Each angle of an equilateral triangle has a measure equal to 60. We'll take this one right here. Equilateral triangle means all sides are equal and all angles are equal. And if you take 180 and divide it by three, you get 60 degrees each. Okay, relevant vocabulary. Isosceles triangle, angles of a triangle, exterior angle of a triangle. Go ahead and read them. Um, we put some pictures to go with them on the previous slide. Okay, we have a ton of exercises, just like the last video. So I'm going to talk through a few, and then I'm going to start pushing pause, solving them, and you can see them after I'm done. <clears throat> Excuse me. So first of all, find the measures of angles A and B in the figure to the right. I have a triangle right here, and I know two of the angles, so it's going to be easy to find the third. Um, so 69 degrees plus 58 degrees plus A equals 180. Um, 69, 58, 180 minus 127. And we have A. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. A equals 53 degrees. All right. Now, let's look at this triangle. We now know that A is 53 degrees. And this is a straight line. I really need to know this angle so that I can use that angle in solving the red triangle. I can figure out that dot, and let's say that dot's going to be x. I can say 58, because it's a linear pair, or linear angle since it's more than a pair, plus x plus 93 equals 180. 
So I can actually solve this a few ways. I just saw the other one. Let's go ahead and solve for x right now. And then I'll show you the other way. So x equals 180 minus 58 minus 93. Okay, so this angle is 29 degrees. I can also um, use the exterior angle theorem that we just learned. So 93 is my exterior angle. That's equal to angle A plus angle B. Let's see if we work out the same. So 93 equals, we found angle A, plus angle B. Subtract 53 from both sides. Angle B equals 40. So we found angle A and angle B, but I'm going to take a picture of this and move to a new slide. Hold on. Yep. B was 40. Good job. Okay, on the previous slide, I found B by doing the exterior angles. So 93 is 53 plus B. Um, I can also find B by looking at this triangle right here. So B plus 53, which is this vertex, plus 58 plus 29, which is this vertex, equals 180. So I'm going to subtract all those. 180 minus 53 minus 58 minus 29. B equals 40. Let's check the previous slide. Okay, next one. In each figure, determine the measures of the unknown angles. Um, give reasons. We forgot to give reasons. So here we have exterior angle. So 78 equals 42 plus A. Seventy-eight minus forty-two. And my reason is um looking at the definitions here in front of me, and we have our opposite interior angles. Let's see what I notice here, and you have to start noticing things in your drawings. This right here is an isosceles triangle. <clears throat> so we know the base angles and an isosceles triangle are the same. We know it's isosceles because these two sides have tick marks on them. So I could draw it standing up. Here's my base. So both of them are 68. So we know that um, the exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the two interior opposite angles. So B equals 68 plus 68. Let's see, 8 and 8 is 16, 12, 13, 136 degrees. I could also find that a different way. Um, I could find out what this angle is, and that's going to be 68 plus 68 plus the dot I just made <laughs> equals 180. I can subtract 68 and my dot equals 44. Well, it's a linear pair. Um, 44 plus B equals 180. B equals 136. So that worked too. Um, my reasoning here is first of all, base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent, and then we did the sum of interior angles. 
and that's not said right. Exterior angles. Exterior angle rule, which the exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Okay, um, I'm going to do just a few more so we can try to get into the habit. Okay, we have many triangles here. I see this big one, which we know the tip is 90 degrees, and one of the vertices is 64, so we can figure out C. 180 minus 90 minus 64. Now I can take, I can actually find out this angle too because I have a linear pair. So I'm doing a linear pair right here. So 95 plus red dot, I apologize, I'll use letters from now on, um, equals 180. So red dot equals 180 minus 95. I'll write that in. Now I can look at this triangle here because I know at least two of the sides. So blue triangle, 64 plus D plus red dot equals 180. Subtract 64, subtract 85, D equals 31. Okay, the reason means I used First of all, I had the sum of interior angles of a triangle are 180. Then I used a linear pair rule. And then I did the sum of interior angles as 180 again. Okay, I'm going to push pause and work through a few of these. Um, I'll try to color code them so you can see them and hopefully that helps make sense. So I'm gonna push pause. This might not be the easiest way to do it, but this is the way my mind worked. Go ahead and push pause and step through the colors. Um, actually, let me write some more reasonings. This was linear pair, and this was sum of interior angles. Okay, go ahead and push pause. Let's see what we can do. It looks like I have parallel lines, so I can use my um, corresponding angles rules from the previous lesson. Okay, this one was a little bit easier. I knew the 78 is a corresponding angle, and then I can use linear pair with a vertex I labeled X, and then I solved the triangle. Okay, more parallel lines. Let's see if we can make sense of it. I'm gonna go ahead and push pause. All right, number seven. Go ahead and push pause and see if you can follow the color pattern. All right, I think I'm gonna have to draw an auxiliary line here. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Okay, I just made it bigger. So yeah, I'm going to draw an auxiliary line. I need triangles though, so this isn't like the auxiliary lines that we drew when we had parallel lines. Um, so I need to make a little triangle here. Cool. So first I'm going to find X by using the interior of this triangle. Then I'm going to find Y because I have a linear pair. Then I'm going to find Z because I'll be using the interior of this triangle. And then I'll find H. So follow along with me. First of all, I have X plus 72 plus 25 equals 180. That's the sum of interior angles. X equals 83. And I'm going to do a linear pair. So 83 plus y equals 180. 180 minus 83 is 97. Then I have the um, sum of interior angles to find z. So 97 plus 
30 plus Z equals 180. 97, 30, Z equals 53. Then I have a linear pair with H. 53 plus H equals 180. H equals 27. 127, because I can do math. Okay? Okay, listen through that again if you didn't understand it. Okay, I have some more parallel lines, so I'm going to push pause, and um, I might be drawing an auxiliary, auxiliary line. We'll see what happens. All right, first, so I drew these two auxiliary lines and found um, this one because it's corresponding. Then, with... This line right here, I have some angles. So I have a linear pair here. I found out x is equal to 55. Then I have a linear pair here. I found y is equal to 65. Then, I think I'm almost out of colors. I looked at this cute little triangle here. Um, I don't have any more colors. Brown. This cute little triangle here gave me x plus y plus i. Okay, the sum of interior angles. Okay, let's look at this one. Oh. This one will be fun. Okay, we know that we can um, do the exterior angles are the sum of the opposite interior. So this equals this plus that. Let's go ahead and do that and solve for x, and then we can figure out how to get j. So first I use the theorem um, exterior angle, sorry, your exterior angle is the sum of the two opposite interior angles and solved for x. Then I plugged x back in and I found that this angle right here is 130 degrees. Then if we look at our linear pair, j plus 130, 130 degrees is 180. Solve for j, you get 50. 11. Okay, this is the last one. Go ahead and push pause. It looks like I have um, two equilateral triangles. Or no, sorry, two isosceles triangles. So if I know this vertex, I know that this is a base and that's in a base and it's equal. What can you do with that? Okay, I'm going to talk you through this before everything gets too lost. Oh. Okay. So, I have an isosceles triangle here. We're going to make this x and this whole angle x because the base angles are congruent. 56 plus x plus x is 180. 2x equals 124 x equals 62. So let me erase this. 62 and 62. Okay, the whole thing. Now, if we look at this triangle, you might want to turn your paper. I have another isosceles triangle. So the sides are equal. That means that this base is equal to this base. So we know this base is also 62 degrees. Um, therefore, K is going to be 62 plus 62 plus K equals 180, 124, K equals 56. Pretty funny, huh? Alright, in closing, um, what is the sum of angle measures of any triangle? Hundred and eighty degrees. And 
What is the relationship between the exterior and the opposite or remote interior angles? So if I drew a drawing, I have exterior angle and the remote interior angles, x equals a plus b. Nice work today.